All right, it's Trey and I'm back with another sports video here to talk about Jim Harbaugh accepting the head coaching gig at the Los Angeles Chargers. And before we talk more about him accepting the gig, let's go back and talk a little bit about what he did at Michigan. He brought back a national championship to Michigan. He won three big title, three Big Ten titles in a row. And he was 40 and three in the last three years. So Jim Harbaugh not only brought back Michigan to what they were used to doing, but he brought a sense of pride back to Michigan. And he's not leaving them in a worse spot. Now granted, we know they do have those sanctions that could possibly come out, but I think by him leaving and also serving during the season, I think Michigan may be able to scapegoat out of a lot of those sanctions that may possibly come. I don't think they're going to be as harsh like as they are to, you know, the University of Miami or, you know, other universities out there where they're going to go hard. I think the NCAA wants Michigan to be good and they want to make sure they're good, especially with them leaving, especially with Jim Harbaugh leaving there. And he also won a co coach of the year while he was there. So he's been doing his thing. But him taking this role is very surprising. But when you think about it, he has unfinished business in the NFL. Jim Harbaugh, he was able to make it to the mountaintop, meaning he was able to bring his team to the Super Bowl. Remember, Harbaugh was coaching the San Francisco 49ers at that point in the Super Bowl where he lost to his brother, which were the Ravens. And that was when Joe Flacco was the, head, was the quarterback for the Ravens, and they had a phenomenal year that year. Some crazy things happened in that Super Bowl. I'm not gonna talk too much about it, but the AC and all that other stuff went out. But to see him back in the NFL, we thought it would be much sooner. But him leaving off, winning the national championship for Michigan, I think was the best thing you could have script scripted for him, and then also for Michigan football. But now as he goes to the NFL, he has that one unfinished thing, which is to win a Super Bowl. And he's taking over a really, really good team. The Los Angeles Chargers, or LA Chargers, whatever you want to call them, they're a really good team. They have a quarterback that everybody said is good in Justin Herbert. And I think Harbaugh may be able to coach him up a little bit more. And hopefully he'll be available as well. So hopefully he can work to be more available, kind of like the Tua thing where we see Tua's potential, but then we also see where you could be hindered because he's not available. But they have a top five wide receiver in Keenan Allen. Austin Eckler is still there, so he still have to run the game. Unless they go and upgrade that position. And he has really good DNs. The defense is pretty good. So he's not taking over a terrible team. I think he will make some adjustments, and we'll see how the draft pick situation goes. But... I'm excited to see Harbaugh there, but only thing now is he's gonna to have to face the Oakland Raiders and we see what they're doing over there now. I think they're gonna make that swap for Russell Wilson at quarterback. Then now you gotta deal with Pat Mahomes and Andy Reid twice a year. So that will not be easy, but I know if the NFL schedule makers have a shot, I don't know if they play this year, I have to double check, but they're gonna make sure they get a Chargers Ravens game in there but I gotta double check the schedule to see if that's gonna happen this year but I know soon in the future but let me know in the comment section below if you guys think Harbaugh could get the Chargers to the Super Bowl and then actually win it that's gonna be hard to come out of the AFC it's some good quarterbacks over there in the AFC as you see now Lamar Jackson Pat Mahomes like crazy like his brother has a chance to go back to the Super Bowl again and possibly win it. And I would definitely favor the Ravens over the 49ers and over the Detroit Lions in, in the Super Bowl right now. So it's going to be very interesting to see, but I, I'm happy for Jim Harbaugh. He's finally able to get that last Infinity Stone. We'll see if it'll actually happen. And hopefully now Michigan, you know, could give somebody else a shot there. But it is crazy how now he's been able to coach at both of the places he played. He played at Michigan. He was able to coach Michigan and bring them a national championship. And then now he's going to the Chargers, where he was a quarterback over there, to now see if he could bring 
them a Super Bowl as well, though. And from what I saw, I think he signed like a five or six year deal. So the Chargers are in it for the long call with Jim Harbaugh. They think they have their coach. And he also had an opportunity to go to the Falcons. And the Falcons, they've interviewed Mike Vrabel. And they also interviewed Bill Belichick as well. And they were going to interview Jim Harbaugh, but the Chargers just said, no, you are God. We want you here. Sign this deal. And also just speak a little bit more on Michigan as well. Michigan offered to make Jim Harbaugh the highest paid coach in college football. But I think the only thing that was missing, which I think he did have some restrictions, like, hey, if I get a sanction or I get fined, like, hey, you can't fire me for that stuff. But besides all of that, I think they would have accepted that he got him a championship. It was the fact that he can't win a Super Bowl in college. And he just has that unfinished business in the NFL and especially at home at the dinner table. Like, Harbaugh, like, your brother has a Super Bowl and he has a Super Bowl against you. So I think that'll be dope if he gets a Super Bowl and then you say, hey, I'm a national champion. I want at both levels, college and NFL. So I think that was just that last Infinity Stone, you know, that last milestone that he wants to hit there. So I think at the end of the day, we kind of knew he wanted to go back to the NFL, but now he's going on the right terms. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, sub to my channel. Like this video. Comment below. Push me in the algorithm. Get, get me going. One love.